I mean, I've got right, funny well, things to say about what games I play, but they don't count as much when there's a guy up there beating me without even having arms to play with. Yeah, well, <laughs> up your shit, dude. Come on. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Probably beats the rest of us, too. Yeah. So, oh, well, All right. What do you do? Anyway, I'm recording anyway, so good to go. Okay. Hey, guys, uh, welcome to a special edition of the Go to Game show. Uh, this is where. Jack and I usually catch up every week in this new world of uh, social distancing and whatnot. The only way we get to catch up is uh, have a call once a week, talk about everything that's going on in the gaming industry and in the world. And usually we're joined by one of our mates. Uh, But this week we are joined by a whole squad of our mates. Um, So uh, this is awesome. Um, This is almost like having a bit of a wee party. We haven't uh, had this for a long time. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so because we're working on some pretty cool stuff with everybody in the room at the moment, um, we thought we'd uh, have a bit of an all-in and chat to everybody here. Uh, We've got some big news that's happened uh, in the last uh, week, so we're going to probably touch on everything a bit lightly. It's going to be a very different show this week. Um, uh, So, yeah, let's get started. I mean, first things, Jack... um, our show's a bit like a couple of games. It's been pushed back and pushed back, and it's our first yeah. time back for a um, uh, couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, yeah. I don't even know what happened. Like, uh, it was just... Uh, well, I well, took a, a holiday. Few, a few, well, I you took, took a holiday, holiday for a week. The wheels fell off, apparently. And then I was like, well, I was going to do a show, <laughs> and then this, then you had all this client stuff, and I had to do some of your stuff as well, and it, it was just crazy. And then the week before that, we had the 10 year anniversary of digivisor so that like yeah, kind so of just do... moved the week around and then uh yeah we had a, a guest not have internet set yeah. up with their new play so then was like scrambling to try and do something and then now we've ended up with this yeah which is insane so yeah so <laughs> while we start introduce everybody to everyone in the room starting off with i would say am i using people's real names today or not <laughs> well, I was going to I was going to build an overlay after the fact and cover everyone's real names. So, I guess we'll start at the top middle next to me. Other way. Hi more. You're at work right now, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. Don't worry, I have approval to be here. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> not being too cheeky. <laughs> um, so I guess a little bit about myself. Uh originally from Alabama. Came here to Australia seven years ago in November. Um, I have been playing games since I was like six or seven. Um, A lot with my older brother. Played a lot of Command and Conquer, Tiberian Sun. Um, And yeah, nowadays just streaming whatever, I guess, kind of fancies me. Variety streaming. I love all sorts of games. Um, At the moment, mainly Rogue Company. Um, and have lately gotten into Phasmophobia, which I actually love. Um, yeah. I guess nice. that's about it. Nice. Cal? Actually, you, you might, I was going oh, no. b- to say, before we jump, you might be able to answer a quick question about Rogue Company that I've had. How does that work with um, playing the doc on Twitch? Have they actually addressed that yet? If you use that skin? I haven't used the skin because you have to pay for it. And I'm like, it's still an open beta. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, no. Nah. Nah. Um, I want to miss that money. Yeah, so no one said anything. But, you know, he does have a arena that you fight in there, the yeah. Champions Club, um, yeah. and his little music. But there are people that use the skin in the games I've played. Yeah. I don't, like, I feel like that's a level of similar to when there was an issue where he was in a tournament and a streamer was you know, streaming the tournament and he happened to show up in that guy's Twitch channel. I feel like that's something that it's kind of a extra layer of like, how much can you control that? It's Mm. kind of out of your hands. If someone else chooses to use the skin or whatever, if you're not, but they haven't addressed it. So for now. Next in the uh, Brady bunch panel here, uh, a returnee to the show, no hands. Hola comrades. What's happening? Uh, Come on, uh, some comrades uh, heaps. Is that because you've been playing Tarkov every day? It's way oh. too much Tarkov, man. Way, <laughs> too, or, way too much. Or, or, or are you a left-leaning voter in New Zealand, and you've just been called comrade by a right-leaning person so much in the last? That is well. Did you know us? Us communists <laughs> took over the country. Well, no one, everyone, all the right-wing folk went to bed, and we took over. 
Yeah, I tell you what, it has been funny as a Kiwi. Like the as soon as I posted about Labour winning and Jacinda being back in um, power for the next three years, the amount of people that called me a commie or whatever, it was just hilarious. It's just bizarre, isn't it? Right. I love all this, like, trying to rile up the foreign media that's going on by saying we're putting people in uh, bloody communist prison camps if they've got COVID. We're putting them up in hotels. Like, I wouldn't actually (laughs) mind. Like the rest of the world. Stay in a hotel for two weeks. Yeah. (laughs) And you guys are still still having gaming conventions. I We just had Armageddon. I didn't go. It was in Auckland. But it happened. And we can go outside and, like, have coffee and and meet people. Mm -hmm. Do you remember gaming conventions, guys? Making hands and stuff. But, you know. Do, do the Australians in the room rem- remember gaming conventions? Yeah, yeah. There was a thing called PAX once. That was what? really cool. What? Yeah. No, yeah. it's oh, like the don't. myth, right? I've heard of no, this. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Clinical depression covers covers the video call. Hello, yeah. <laughs> that was that's literally my favorite weekend of the year. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, same. You know, oh, I've well, still never next been. Next year's gonna be sick. Oh, we next year we'll get you over. over. Next year we'll yeah. get you over. Hashtag we're, sponsored we're, somehow. I think we're, we're all living in uh, positivity <laughs> that next year PAX is going to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long Just as Melbourne sorts their shit out. Australia, you're on the right track. That's right, Just Robert. Sort it out, mate. From sheer yeah. optimism, it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get on it, boys. <laughs> anyway. Well, we, well, we well, know, well, we know well, no hands and he plays Tarkov. What are, anything yeah, else yeah, exciting I, I going on right now? Games that people with ten fingers struggle with. That's that's my shtick. <laughs> Some right. other guy on this call is a bit bit more into that shtick than I am. But, uh, well, yeah. well, since you've mentioned him, um, our new competitor in the um, the the lack of digits range, uh, introduce yourself, dude. Um, I'm Wingless. I'm from Auckland, over in New Zealand. If yep. you guys are in Australia, um, I'm at the moment an Overwatch competitor. And I've been streaming Wild. maybe about seven or eight months, and I love it, love it, love it, love so it. So many questions. I haven't ca- yeah, caught right. your stream yet. No, uh, even I'm that, even that in itself, <laughs> that is like a in in the Twitch sphere. That is a very new streamer still, isn't that wild? Mm. Yeah. How are you enjoying it? Yeah, I love it. It's um, it's a whole different field of things. Like I'm tr- still trying to go through the minefield of what it's like to be a Twitch streamer, and I mm. am like loving the challenge. Yeah, so if you brutal. figure it out, could you let me know what it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have your good Brilliant. days and your bad days, but most days are good. Everything's yeah. good, you know. It's for the well, fun. Well, go, going from the Kiwi contingent uh, over to a, a very regular with uh, Go to Gamies at a whole bunch of events that we've done, Mr. Rowey. I knew it. Um, yep, <laughs> hi. Hi. My name's Rowey. Um, I currently play minecraft which happened accidentally um but i've been doing the the twitch spawn stuff so people donate bits subs all that sort of stuff to uh mess with me in the game and it is absolutely heartbreaking because i hadn't played minecraft before and now i die all the time but now all that money's gone to charity so much hey. uh much better <laughs> and yeah legend to, and, and to sort of touch on the intro I gave Rowie and uh, Jack and I have done millions of projects together since uh, we've been um, well in the last five years I hate to think how many things we've worked on together I'm old school now yeah I, I can't believe <laughs> it's the first time we've had you on the show me too <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> There's a list. If you've seen my list of how yeah, many I'm people. A, I'm oh, at the bottom, bro. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, my don't bring it up. Show, what are you doing wrong? Don't bring it up because this is this is the stressful part. It's like we've worked with so many people that it's like, who's going to get pissed off more if I don't have them higher? I'm like, Rowie yeah. won't care. We'll care. just <laughs> fit him in when I fit him in. He'll be all right. <laughs> I'm like, no hands will be pissed off if we don't get him on at the the top. So he's up there, you know. Just start throwing. Yeah, working. True. Working my way down. We'll save the best till last, Rowie. (laughs) (laughs) So who's next? Oh, hi. In the list. Uh, Yeah, there you go. Jump in. Me? Was it Nick? I thought thought you said Nick. I was like, (laughs) if it's not, you are now. Yeah, Nick, you're in. (laughs) What's going on? 
Hi, uh, I'm Nick. I'm from South Oz. Uh, I've been streaming for four and a half years and I absolutely love it. it quickly became my passion. Um, I am a big fat meme lord and uh, self-proclaimed uh, spice lord as well. Uh, oh, I love putting as much... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. We, we met and we, we've agreed. We're on like the same level. <laughs> okay, okay. Just putting it out there. She would be pissed We're off just if I didn't do that, we, all right? We, we we are, have mutual respect for each other. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I love to put as much production quality as I can into everything that I do. And um, yeah, the main games I'm playing at the moment really back addicted to No Man's Sky after the most recent update, which has been really cool. And uh, also play a lot of Siege as well, which Hell is one of my other main games. Good shit. I heard yeah. Siege has really good sound. Dude, <laughs> the, the best. The game flawless. Shut up! I didn't record that purposely. <laughs> we definitely were talking shit about game the sound in lots of different games. Okay, the game is flawless. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't play it, so I don't, I don't. I've got no input in this. All right. Um, Siege is great. It's a very good tactical right. shooter. Like I guess, like Tarkov in a way. With and they've got the new really update, tactical. right? The new what's it, sweet and sour or whatever, whatever it's called. What's it called? No, the new. Yeah, event. the yeah. the sugar fright event. Sugar one. Where that's the one. Everyone's a muppet. <laughs> 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 that's Which awesome everyone thought was a joke and as ubisoft is like it's real and we're like okay, okay. <laughs> sweet amazing. we're all muppets now um that's yeah amazing. but it's really really fun game mode that's mad and last but not least cal hey how you going so yeah my name's cal i'm from canberra australia originally from south australia but i don't make that overly known because you don't make that known in the eastern states um <laughs> <laughs> that was just a dig at the South Australian on the channel. Um, I'm a member of the Locked On Lads crew who um, Hano might know, Wilco and and th that crew. Um, we yep. do a podcast, which we haven't done for a couple of weeks because it's been a bit quiet, but um, it focuses on Tom Clancy games. So, you know, Rainbow Six Siege, ugly enough. Um, yeah, Division and um, Breakpoint, or the like, whatever the local, latest Gross Recon game is. Um, I've been streaming could probably consistency for consistently for the last two years what finally once i got decent internet um and same i've sort of been playing all sorts of bits and pieces uh, ranging from all the tom clancy games through to um but, but my main sort of um focus lately lately has been space stuff so squadrons coming out has just been awesome yep. and um playing this little game that you may not have heard of called star citizen um, I've been hey. playing a lot of that lately. <laughs> so, yeah, I have officially drunk the Kool Aid. I am now a member of the the Church of the Roberts. Yeah, the leader hey, is good. The leader is great. I, so, I honestly, <laughs> that, that, I thought that this that Star Citizen was going to come up way later in the show when once we started <laughs> like, once we started talking about games getting pushed back. Well, that's not technically a game yet, is it? So, can you really no, ever be pushed back? <laughs> It's been beta for nine years or something. So, try alpha. It hasn't even hit beta yet. Yeah. So, yeah. It's anyway. It. I think it's. I think my involvement with Star Citizen is a a symptom of um, the pandemic. Insofar as I just need something that I can completely disconnect with reality and just ass around in. Yeah. Um, yeah. The vision was getting a little bit too close to the bone. I think. So um, <laughs> I kind of left that. But yeah, that's that's me. Um, as I said, podcast when I can and. Yeah, just get up to no good, basically. Oh. Well, now yeah. we've got through all the intros. Uh, that's the show. Thanks for joining us this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but um, seriously, uh, everybody we've got in the group here um, in this on the show this week, all of us have come together um, to work with an amazing charity uh, called uh, the Cerebral Palsy Alliance, we're working on this amazing uh, project called Playable, which is basically a whole group of streamers over the next two weeks are going to be uh, streaming, raising money, and um, uh, also there's going to be an esports event. And I, I think it's awesome that you guys have wanted to be involved. They reached out to Jack and I uh, actually after a panel that we did. Um, mm. Yeah, We did a webinar just uh, talking to different brands about uh, how to get involved in the gaming community, and they were just like, yep, this is something we want to do. How can we do it? And uh, you guys have all jumped on. Um, I think my first question to everybody, and uh, we'll start with Claymore, is why did you want to get involved? Um, well, for me, I mean, I've always 
enjoy doing charity streams. I've been involved in a few different ones um, over the years, um, but particularly, so my nephew um, lives with cerebral palsy. So of course, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes. And I normally do step timber and I didn't do that this year. So um, yeah, which is run by the same people. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like, oh, this is, you know, the chance to make up for that. Um, and yeah, like my community really loves it. And all my friends get on board um, anytime I'm doing something like this. And it's a good time for everyone just to get together and have some fun. And um, I mean, we're already playing games anyway. So, you know, we might yeah. as well be doing something that's helping others at the same time. Yeah, very true. No, we'll see if he joins us again. He might come um, back. He might have had a few things <laughs> to go to. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, what about you, Roy? Well, well, why did you want to jump on board? Um, I kept getting emails from Jack. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack, Jack reached out and uh, I, I replied and then I sort of, I didn't follow it up. So thank you, Jack, for being my back about getting on board. Um, I normally, <laughs> look, if I'm, if I'm going to be real, I normally... I feel, while I want to do a lot for charity and I do I do donate and stuff like that, I feel like I'm not worthy of doing or being involved in a charity campaign myself. I'm always like, no one's going to donate to me. Why would I bother? But um, every time I've done it, it's always been fun, successful. And so I thought, you know, good cause, why not? Everyone I've met with CP has always been, like, they've been awesome people. Yeah. So why not, uh, yeah, why not jump in and uh, help out? Yeah. True. Um, and we appreciate yeah. it. Legend. I didn't hassle you too much, by the way. <laughs> you did. You Just did. like once. <laughs> All right, you bastard. Make me sound Every morning. Like that guy everyone's talking about on Twitter. <laughs> Hassling everyone. God damn it. <laughs> um, what about you, Wingless? Well, why would you want to get involved in people living with disabilities? Um, well, like as a person who lives with a disability, <laughs> I obviously, well, I generally feel. I generally feel that, you know, if something can be done, they should, it should be done. And, yeah. you know, we're all given our time and time is so precious to, yeah. you know, everybody with disabilities. Cause you know, some, as somebody who lives with one, sometimes it takes a bit longer to do things. And I thought, well, all these people are given their time. So I really want to be involved and I won't lie. I did actually shop around yeah. and I thought like, I want to be in a group of people who are quite like-minded, like, like I am. And, then I started, you know, I went on all your all your streams. I've stalked all of you, and um, <laughs> you're all great. You're all great people. And I thought this is it. This is the group I want to associate with with this thing. Like, yeah, sweet. So I and you guys actually replied in a funny way. Thanks, thanks, Jack. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I made a high five joke to the two hey. people in the group oh. that don't have hands. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. What a funny <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what about you no hands what what got you involved in this um you did <laughs> <laughs> very true so i had uh great fun actually joining from you guys the panel that the cpa offshot remarkable did uh on inclusivity and accessibility in esports uh, and then through that, I'm actually currently working with the Remarkable team on helping them with their incredible design-a-thon slash hackathon that's going on at the moment. I don't, uh, I don't know they... if you know this uh, yet, no hands, but did you know I'm the judge on that? Oh, no way. Which one are you judging? Uh, well, I've got to, in an hour's time, I've got to be on a call to judge uh, the prizes. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> So um, <laughs> apparently my vote doesn't count for as much as your vote does because I've oh, helped guide because... these teams through their whole process. Yeah, uh, uh, and what they've been doing to he's got try a bias. And come up with products. Yeah, so they're they're worried I'm biased. <laughs> uh, they're not wrong. I've probably already picked my favourites. Not yeah. gonna lie, but uh, we get to watch <laughs> their pitch this afternoon. Yeah, I don't know. They're gonna. They've got two minutes to sell us their idea, and the winner walks away with something like thirty thousand dollars so you oh, know shit. Well, they, they want to that's make awesome. this a reality like they're getting prize mm. money to turn their idea into reality so it's pretty awesome um and then yeah when this came up i was like well hey this this all ties in amazingly 
Uh, I mean, you guys, you guys know I like working with you, so I was happy to jump on board. <laughs> and we were more than happy oh, to have yeah. you. Like at, at first, you were the only Kiwi that we um, tapped on the shoulder for this because uh, it's, it is an Australian charity. But we thought well, it makes sense for No Hands to be involved. This is something that he is always uh, waving the flag about: is accessibility in video games. And, yeah, yeah, hundred um, uh, percent. All right, Nick Tacho. Yeah. Um, honestly, so yeah, like uh, Robbie had uh, had reached out to me and let me like sort of let me know about the the whole campaign, and I just thought I thought it was absolutely incredible because I think gaming is such a beautiful thing and it brings so many people together. So you wanna you wanna make it so that you can bring it make it as inclusive as possible. Um, so I was thinking I thought it was a fantastic campaign and it was a and and I sort of you know found a bit more about the charity as well and i thought this is fantastic and i really want to be involved i love i love charity streaming um i i i'm a masochist so i just like put myself out there in my community is just like haha we're gonna cause you pain and misery yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so from you know making me eat really hot like hot hot sauce and uh to getting a tattoo for charity all sorts of stuff um God and damn. i just uh, i yeah oh shit. <laughs> This Wait, how much for the tattoo? What are we? What are we? That's awesome. Nice. Can't yeah. really say it oh, too well, but I'm never going to get a job well, But yeah, but oh, it's but it was that was for the Starlight Children's Foundation. It's just that's a Waluigi oh, tattoo. That's awesome. <laughs> Who in their right mind would get a tattoo for some sort of gaming event? A video game, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who would do that? Um, that's crazy. Who would do that? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, look at these unemployable people that we've associated with. Yeah. <laughs> really shocking. All of you oh. all. At least know, get your right? tattoos, tattoos under criminals. the neckline and under the yeah. arm line so you Definitely can hide them like done. a real gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I agree. I agree. <laughs> uh, and Cal, what about yourself? Yeah, look, um I... tattoos. No. <laughs> uh, no comment. Um <laughs> that's between me and butters. Um no uh <laughs> We, um, I, I responded to a tweet actually. I just um, saw one. Of, I think it was Hutto put a put a tweet out just mm. to interested people and um, a bit like a bit a bit like um, so some of us on stream on, on chat. I, I got the, the opportunity when I was younger to hang out with some with some kids in my childhood that were, that had um, cerebral palsy and got a really sort of I guess an appreciation at the young age of sort of you know how cool these people are and and gaming such a level playing field and it can can break down so many barriers by the simple fact that we all end up playing the same games and a lot of this messaging that was coming through from the 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 playable initiative sort of rang true with that so i thought hey if i can help out i'll put my hand up so and these guys you guys were you know i must have must have pulled the wool over your eyes because you guys said yeah why not so yeah <laughs> Well, I, I know both Jack and I were very interested when they reached out to us because both Jack and I have family that have CP. Um, my sister-in-law, uh, she's 19 now. She suffers with CP very severely. She's immobile, uh, can't speak. Um, lovely girl, uh, beautiful soul. Uh, and she's actually getting to that stage where we're not sure what her future is and things like that, which is a very sad reality when it comes to CP. Um, and uh, some people are able to live a very long, amazing lives with it if they don't suffer as severely. So personally, the moment they reached out to me, I was like, yes, this is something I want to be involved in. I want to help raise some money for people suffering from cerebral palsy. Um, yeah. And yourself, Jack? Yeah, exactly the same. A hundred percent. My, uh, so I've got like, you know, 15, 16 cousins. Um, and my oldest cousin, uh, Todd, he is, how old am I? So he'd be 27 yeah. and he suffers, yeah, again, severely. So he can walk, he's around, but the right half of his body, like really, you cannot move it at all. Um, and he can really only say a few words, mum, dad, his brother, and he can also say Jack, which oh, very awesome. proud, very proud. Um, so yeah, just like hanging out at my cousin's house because they they were like the kind of closest cousins that I yeah. got to hang out with. So I used to that that's sort of when my love for GTA came as well. Me and my younger cousin used to play GTA, and obviously Todd was there as well. So I used to hang out with him all the time, and just knowing how you know one difficult it can be for 
the person living with, you know, CP, but also the family as well, um, having to help in, you know, every way possible. Um, changing everything from, you know, the way a normal household would be to now, you know, having someone with CP as well. So just getting on board and helping out everybody involved is uh, is something super close to my heart. So yeah, yeah. it was uh, it was definitely a no brainer, that's for sure. Yeah. So everybody you're seeing on screen, plus a whole bunch of uh, other yep. streamers as well. Um, I mean, we could rattle their list off, but uh, follow us all on Twitter Links and you'll be description. able to- Links in description. Links in description, definitely. Um, uh, Make sure you follow along, check out everybody's streams, uh, donate uh, generously because uh, this is money that's being used for an amazing cause. Um, and uh, everybody's going to be doing their thing for the next, oh, by the time this goes out, a week and a bit. Um, and we've got the exciting, uh, the esports thing. Who here is involved in the esports side of it? <laughs> yeah, me. Uh, good I'm luck. Devil, I can't be. <laughs> yeah. Involved we only doesn't had, mean we only had right. three three people i think yeah. that were able to be involved i wish it was wish we were able to do more but they had a they had a limit so yeah it's a limit purely down to timing um yeah. but yeah next uh, thursday um live on the cerebral palsy alliances uh facebook page as well as on uh the al twitch account is going to be uh the play able esports clash which is going to be some amazing twitch streamers who are going to be partnering with uh, Cerebral Palsy Alliance clients um, to form teams and face each other. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, mm-hmm. especially since the fact that I think every streamer that has put their hand up for it, none of them have played Rocket League. <laughs> no, I have what, played. Awesome. I just said I haven't played well. Yeah. Oh, well, there's, <laughs> I, you may be the only one who's ever played. I know uh, Maid Mama is involved and she has never even downloaded it, let alone played it. Um, oh, heck. Yeah. And I think it's going to be hilarious what these guys try to figure out the game and the commentary team. Have got, there's a full commentary team. It's a full production. I They're tried to volunteer for the commentary team. Why wouldn't you let me do that, John? <laughs> <laughs> you imagine there's a poor commentary team who are going to have to try and follow along with us. <laughs> It's I think gonna it's going to be hard. For it's going to be fun. Yeah, you'll have just oh, people going all dear. over the place. Professional yeah. Rocket League commentators that know the game inside and out. People literally <laughs> crying, <playing>. just <laughs> crying because of the because of the lack <laughs> of capability. Yeah, it's it's like, what strategy? Oh, what strategy yeah. is this, John? I have no idea. <laughs> it's called. Trying. They might learn a thing or two. <laughs> they might learn. They might. New players, new players might might show up. Man, no hands will show up and completely show them these new strats they've never seen yeah, before that's it. Sure, sure. they can't give us a training session beforehand can they no nah, not allowed banned nah. <laughs> 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 all right because i know a few people on the call are um running very oh, yeah. short on time i think yep. the first topic i want to t- touch on apart from the awesome worker cp uh cpa uh let's jump into the news there um the Xbox has been uh, seen in the world. The PlayStation 5 has also been seen in the world in the mm-hmm. last 24 hours. Um, what are our thoughts? Uh, what are you pointing out there? No hands? No hands. Um, um, my thoughts are... It... Oh, Actually, the flex. The flex. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at that. You need a banana for scale, mate. It doesn't. It doesn't show its true size. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, can we get? A, can we get a fridge for scale? Uh. Yes, well, there's a Red Bull cool. fridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's about. It's about as big as a Red Bull fridge. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's smaller than a Red Bull fridge. Um, so it's smaller than a PS5. I haven't seen one of those. Go They're on. A, it's a monolith. It's huge. The um most amazing thing for me about this so far because i haven't actually because of embargoes been allowed to even plug it in yet um do it he has he has do it i haven't (laughs) do it because they said it it. might not work properly because it's getting a day one update or something of course it is uh but what is awesome is that it came in an accessible box which is just beyond i watched watched the youtube video today i got a like I gave Honestly, like. my notifications are going ridiculously. You had Bill Spencer reply to your Twitter. 
I know. How yeah. awesome. What even That's is awesome. this Twitter life? I don't understand what is going on at the moment. But yeah. this arrived in a cardboard box. And the second I tried to lift the lid, I knew what it was because the whole box just opened out and it yeah. was there. No, like, usually freaking people send me stuff covered in 10,000 rolls of yeah, bloody yeah. packing tape. And mm. this was one quick cut through one piece of tape and the whole box just went. I, I just had this image of you pressing That's like a awesome. touch button on the side yep. of the box and like you know smoke coming out of it and this big Honestly. just you know light coming from the bottom. You're like oh! angelic music. Honestly, I think exactly. that's the only way they could one up what they've already done. Like, yeah, it's that's amazing. Awesome. You can that's just cool. tell in your video too that like I don't know. You always sort of think like, oh, are they really this excited about you know oh, an nice. unboxing or something? But you could just tell. Yeah. That it like genuinely, you were like, this is like incredible. I had to, of course, add like hashtag ad to one of my my tweets about <laughs> the whole thing. Oh yeah, but I was just like, I'm look, like, New like Zealand. get the hashtag yeah. ad. But this is legit. Like I am yeah. so stoked to just feel that included in even the design of the packaging. Not to mention the other accessibility things that are going to be available once it's turned on and plugged in and, and connected mm. to the uh, Xbox adaptive controller and all that stuff. Mm. I think the other thing, though, with that box, and like not to take away from the accessibility side of it, it's just a more beautiful unboxing experience. Have you seen how boring oh, yeah. the PS5 unboxings are? No, like, but no. someone replied to my tweet with a, a fire in a dumpster um, about PS5 reviewers' houses. So. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> no, uh, wow. the, the the experience is completely different. Like PS5 has literally just gone for a couple of cardboard bits on the end of the PS5, slotted into a box. Wow. They were, I mean, literally. Like, what they did was not just for accessibility. Like, there's also, I've I've talked to the the people at Xbox, and like, it wasn't just for accessibility. It was also like waste minimization, all that kind of stuff was considered in the packaging of this product. Yeah. And to, to be honest, most people are going to keep that box, I think, just because it was a beautiful box and unboxing mm. experience. It looks it's very so cool. cool. I saw someone tweeted, actually, they put the box back together inside out, and it looks even better. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the box has a whole lot of cool design. Like, not the reversible the box. box, but the shipping mm -hmm. box comes with a whole lot of uh, logo design and stuff on the inside of it. But because it completely opens out, you can just reverse engineer it and put it back together yeah. the other way around, and it looks even more stunning. That's amazing. That's crazy. No, wow. that's while awesome. talking about Xbox, and while we've got a couple of Kiwis in the room, what is happening down in Queenstown? Do we know? Do we have speculation? I couldn't possibly comment. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. So uh, to, to clue everybody okay. out there, Xbox like Asia has tweeted out um, over the last couple of weeks a couple of tweets. One was the coordinates, which ended up being Queenstown, the pier in Queenstown. Um, and uh, then they've made a, since made a date announcement. And literally the only person who has said anything that they know anything about it is a friend of ours, Laurie Pops, who said she mm. is 100% involved in it. Um, mm. So and, and mm. that, I, I've even reached out to our friends at um, Xbox Jack and said, "How do I get? How do we find out what's going on? Do I have to fly home to be in Queenstown? I will do that." You've <laughs> left it too late, bro. You've left it too late. I've been told. I was told that literally the day the tweet went out. <laughs> Damn it! It looks cool though. I literally have no idea. Is that like big enough for like a submarine or some shit? Oh, some, uh, some Loch Ness. Well, I don't know. The only thing I have seen... it keeps floating on the water. Is, is something going to come out of the water with down. some shit have in it? Have you seen that tweet I did a couple of hours ago? That's why I put... Yeah, I, I wrote that down in my little notes here, Greenstown. Was there a, was so, there a new tweet? Oh, I didn't see the new tweet. Yeah, two yeah, hours ago. Hashtag Greenstown. It all if you only here. check the run sheet, you'd have the tweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was late for the show. Do you think I even checked the run sheet? Yeah, well, maybe if you check the run sheet, you'd be on time. And then, well, ooh, no, there you go. That's not how it works. 
sorry. <laughs> it's cool. Welcome to Greenstown. It all starts here. And then there's a little uh, accompanying video, which is kind of cool. So, so it looks like from that video, knows? Master Chief is coming out of a box. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Out of out of the box, out of water, something like that. Spaceship coming out of the water. I reckon that's what I'm calling. Mm. It. Submarine of some sort. This is cool. definitely interesting. I have like, no idea. Jigsy retweeted it, and I commented on it. And he's like, "Let's just say an incredible amount of work has gone into making this a really cool moment that everyone can tune into." And I was like, "Oh, yeah. what is yeah, what is this cool moment? What is happening?" He's a cheeky I reckon bastard. Jigsy just tried to set something up so he could come here for a holiday, but now it's all full. Oh, the thing is, yeah. <laughs> it was in New Zealand this time last year. Yeah, yeah, that's why I reckon he's set it up for being here. Yeah. Go on, you yeah, know what? Yeah, I need my I yearly think... holiday to New Zealand. I'll do this, and now COVID's like, no, thank you. No. Yeah, so, no. I... Well, the thing is, it <laughs> works out well with New Zealand because New Zealand's the first country in the world to get the Xbox and the PlayStation. That's why uh, we've been done for sure. We're also the only country the in the earliest world where you embargo possible. a gathering of people right uh, now. I was literally just going <laughs> to say that. So <laughs> it's going to be, well. so, gonna be interesting. Very true. Uh, the next thing, I, the next get... thing I want to talk about was Watch Dogs, though, because that came out today. Ooh. Has anybody mm. checked it out yet? Anybody excited to Not play? Yet. No, no. Um, Ironically, with all the no delays. hands has something to show off. Can I show off my cool thing for Watch Dogs? That Ubisoft <laughs> saying hashtag hashtag ad real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hado show and tell time. Ironically, with Watch Dogs is oh, oh, oh don't God. tell me, what don't, dude. It's it's I don't know yet. I have no idea. I've only opened the outside bit to see what was in here. And when it's can also, you open it? Uh, later. Are we getting a live oh, unboxing? Got... But look, it's got a USB in there, but I don't know what's in there. Insert oh, at your own risk, man. Yeah. yeah. And there's the new statue in there too, which I also have the original one just here from the first oh. Watch Dogs. Oh, See, I was going to say, is it a spider dream? Because that's awesome. VR list. I need more game go. merch, man. There we go. I don't know what's in there yet. That's as far as I've opened it. Oh, oh I'm sick. jealous. That's awesome. Oh, I'm very jealous. Anyway, yeah. sorry. <laughs> Words no more about had that a one. special box, so I had to show my special box. <laughs> you, you, do, well. you do you, Hado. You show your special <laughs> box, baby. Oh, yeah. Hashtag OnlyFans later. <laughs> um, anyway, Top sorry. 1%, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to be playing it tonight. I've already opened it today just to check my settings and make sure it's all good. Um, and I've watched a little bit on Twitch this morning and it looks sick. I've deliberately not watched it because I actually want to mm. go full blown uh, own impressions on it. Do you have um, to have, like, is it one of those ones that is a total continuation from the previous stories? Because I played the first one, but yeah. the, the San Francisco one I never mm. finished. Mm. I I'm in the same don't boat. actually know. I haven't, I haven't looked at it. Because sure. I didn't really there want is, to too I know much. There's, there's ties back to yeah. the first one. I think one of the characters is in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, whose name escapes me. But Hayden Pierce. Hayden Pierce, thank you. I don't know if they've tied it back to number two, though. I'm, but, I'm a um, chronic completionist when it comes to games like that, but that just means I get bored about 55% of the way through and stop playing. <laughs> yeah, I'm about halfway through two as well and need to go back and finish it. But yeah. um, it yeah, yeah, all the reviews seem pretty good so far mm. that I've read. So from what I've I'm seen as well, yeah, I'm trying to steer clear of it just to get my own impressions of it. Mm. So the the preset, the, the premise sounds sick. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely so so ambitious. Um, but no, I'm I'm excited for it too. Like I'm, I'm planning to check it out next week, cause, and mm. I I just can't wait to just play as a grandma and tase people. That's what I'm most excited oh, about. Oh um, yes. <laughs> Oh, I'm yes. actually going to go the full. I want to try as hard as I can to go the full route of just having every one of my players being X and my five, and just do all like all sharply dressed and do like a Kinsman remake. Ooh, Ooh. That's okay. make, make a good cool. Kinsman experience. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Shots fired. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm keen for that, the grandma yeah. though. Yeah, for, from what I've seen from others that have this. There potentially is a grandma cosplay. <laughs> Everything. 
the jacket, oh, the great, skirt, Hutter. the hat, and everything in that box. I see that's a sub goal in your horizon. I'm not hundred. I'm not hundred percent if mine's the same, but that's what I was seeing from one other person that's opened theirs. I'm Ooh, like, bro, that's Hutter, what it is. Yeah. That's so. Yeah, that's what's Let's happening tonight. So that's a fundraising goal in for the, yeah. uh, the charity. Mm. No, that's just I want to do it anyway. <laughs> but if you also want to donate, please do. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be fun. Um, the next thing I had on here, and probably the last thing, uh, Cyberpunk. If anyone's excited for it, which I assume some people are, um, pushed back 21 days, another three weeks. Mm-hmm. What's, so, uh, what's the story? Never heard of this game. Yeah, well, never, never heard of it. Don't know what to tell you. Small indie you're game. You have to wait three more weeks. Yeah, small, small indie game. Small indie game, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could, have, they could have built some hype around it or something. So, yeah. game, right? true. That's Very the true. Marketing. Like Apex. They could have got someone yeah. famous involved so people knew about it, you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Anyway. I'm glad they're doing it. I'm glad they're pushing it back. Oh, yeah. um, so they, they, just, they needed to finish it. Come on. Like, yeah. uh, do, you want, do you want a three quarters finished game? If, if the developers don't believe that it's finished, it's not finished. Well, but the thing is, the game is finished. It's gone gold already. So it's gone in for testing with PlayStation, Xbox, Mm -hmm. and Steam and whoever. So it's the game is done. So they must just be at this stage just tweaking things, right? Because you can continue tweaking and making it run better and stuff after it's gone gold. Is there a direct correlation between this and the amount of time they've actually pushed it back and the size of the day one patch? God, you know, like three four. weeks equates to how many gig worth of day one patch? Mm. Like, they, I mean, they've admitted that there's going to be uh, going to be one, and like that, mm. so they, they, they're polishing up. But I think they said that they just underestimated how long it was going to take to test nine versions of the game. Yeah, uh, because of yeah, all yeah, the different enough. like, because it's cro- it's going to be cross gen between you know like all oh, the Xboxes, PC, and just mm. yeah. Yeah. At the end of the, the day, day I think though. it makes sense that. You know, I, I've always been someone who appreciates quality over quantity. Like, if you need yeah. to take an extra three weeks, because I like I went and watched the live demo at PAX and was literally just like uh, over the moon watching it. And I'm so excited to play it. And honestly, even when the announcer came out, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait another three weeks. Like, I I definitely love games that have that immersive story and yeah. character development. A uh, massive fan of Divinity 2, Baldur's Gate 3. I've still been holding off playing it because I don't want to play through the bugs. I want a yeah. completed, beautiful game. Mm. So I've been avoiding everyone's videos on those. Um, and I'm the same with Cyberpunk. Like, if it takes another three weeks to perfect it across the board, across different platforms, go for it. Do, 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 yeah. we, do we think that the reason it's been delayed and they're trying for utter perfection is the pressure that they've probably feeling themselves from the hype of this game like i yeah. can i cannot think in recent history of another game that has this much hype yeah they hide themselves into a corner yeah, yeah. I know it's an unpopular opinion but i've got to say i'm still really torn on whether or not it's a game i want to be hype about though there's there's a lot of things that haven't been clear yeah that's unpopular um, yeah there's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're wrong. There's also accessibility. Everybody respects your wrong opinion. Yeah. I'm fine yeah. with being wrong. I have a right to be wrong. Right. But I, gotta, I can't be true to myself if I don't say it. You know? yeah. It yeah. looks like That's a stunning fair. game. I'm not going to argue that. Yeah. But there's... there's this stuff I, that's not I will say... I will say has it been matter. hyped too much that now you've gone... Oh, yeah. that's what I was just about to say. Like, that's where I am. I'm hesitant to be overly excited just because of mm. the hype. So the last no, time no, I'm I was talking about nothing. that no. at all. I'm I'm throwing the unpopular opinion out there. Oh, wow. the, yeah, right. The separating the art from the artist, and you know, can you separate some of the stuff that goes on behind mm. the scenes with the dev and publishing companies mm. from the game, and and still be totally happy to play the game in spite of all those things that go on. And for me also, I don't know anything about the accessibility of this game, so I don't know if I should even get hype about it because I don't yep. know if I'll be able to play it yet. That's a good point. Very true. Yeah, mm. That is a very so good point. La- last time I mm. saw a game with this much hype around it would have probably been Fallout 4. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys were like massively involved in the scene back then, but 
the hype around that game was very real. Mm. And when the game came out, it was buggy at best. <laughs> right? Uh, that, that 76, was you mean? No, not 76. Oh, you mean four. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about 76. We don't talk about 76. <laughs> four, I, I mean, if, if my unpopular opinion wasn't going to get this show cancelled, that just did, Hado. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we won't be working with Bethesda anymore. No. <laughs> hey, I had a good time. I still, I still Look, streamed and, quite a lot. And, and to be fair, seventy six is a lot better than it was at launch. Yeah, it's an amazing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, who 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 else is actually excited for this uh, for um, Cyberpunk? Like, who's getting it? I'm yeah. I'm actually I'm actually keen for the fact. It's funny because it's been sort of apart from let's just park all the immature shenanigans that's been going on Twitter on Twitter, but you know, a lot of people are like, this is good because I've got a backlog of games that have just come out that I need to play mm-hmm. first. And I, you know, yeah. we just talked about Legion. Um, yep. you know, there's a bunch of other stuff that's about to, about to roll out. And they're like, oh good. This gives me time to actually play it and give then give myself time to play Cyberpunk properly. Mm. And yep. more importantly, it gives me enough time to save up some more cash for a new GPU. I'm like, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Very yeah, well, true. We've got Valhalla before then as well, right? Yep. And New Call of mm. Duty. Like, there's a lot. Mm. With yeah, it's, so a month. Out next month. So it's probably a good thing that they've separated themselves yeah. from the hype of everything else. Like, yeah. uh, could you imagine being... They could have just come out and said that. We're delaying it three more weeks because everyone else has got games. So fuck it. Yeah. Everyone would have just yeah. went... Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, fair. <laughs> no one would have cared. They just they lie totally about it. No one would have given a shit. Would have said, Thank you, in fact. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, they totally could have been wankers about it and been like, look, we don't want to take all the attention. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would have been funnier. That would have pissed yeah. more people off. give those indie off. games their moment in the spotlight, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. They fully could have ripped the oh, ripped everyone. That would have been amazing. Well, they re- they've already Rick rolled us once, so you know it would have would have followed on with the same kind of theme, right? What about right. all those TV games and places that had all these nineteenths of freaking whatever posters up, but now have to go and rip them all down again? Oh, I, I, when, it come, when it comes to cyberpunk, I have no doubt that all of those were just stick on labels anyway. Like, months, ago, months ago, they would have decided, let's not print any solid materials for this. Uh, when it's the merch pack, pack, when the just, merch just pack came out. off and put a new one on. Yeah. Yeah. When the merch pack came out, front of the school. one over the top, so yeah. you end up with, like, layered dates going on. It's like this thing. Yeah. All the new dates. <laughs> 2077. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Much like the game that you've been playing, Cal. Yes. Well, I, I'm still at the fact that I'm going to have to actually figure out which one of my daughters gets my copy, my f- finished copy of Star Citizen in, in my will. Yeah. Because I think it might actually be finished then. Like, I bequeath you this game. <laughs> Finally, it's released. If it's still, if it's, if it's released yet. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Well, let me bring it up because I was literally reading about it. Uh, reading about it this morning because i wanted to sort of see the situation it was at i didn't realize that how many people had sued the developers by now oh there's a shopping list yeah <laughs> i think i think even um i think even crisis is crisis has sued yeah, them is. that wow. was because of the whole they oh that was because they changed engines they literally just dropped it and went thanks guys we're not playing with this engine anymore which is not surprising because it was an absolutely hot piece of garbage when it was um i must admit the new version is far better um, and far more stable, which yeah. is scary. Um, but even um, who was the developer of um, uh, what? Well, there was a um, basically Battle Cruiser three thousand AD. I can't remember the guy's name, but he's a notoriously bad. I think he was going to try and sue them as well. And yeah, there's all sorts of people trying to get their money back. And yeah, it's just it's funny. It's yeah, and at the moment, it's effectively a space version of Gary's mod. It's just a big open sandbox, yeah. but it's fun. <laughs> It's okay. That sounds amazing. Just, like, with ridiculously expensive spaceships, though, right? Oh yeah, and you, you, you get to you get involved in the community, and you realize how much money people have sunk into it, and it is eye watering. Yeah. Like people oh, buying like real life money, real mm. cash. Like oh, wow. I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Like yeah. people, there is there is one ship in the game called an Idris, which I think when they came out was. 5,000 Australian Holy and I've shit. spoken to people that have bought two of them. Wow. At least. And then there's this ongoing 
program where people have been fronting cash. It's just, yeah, it, it, it's and not surprising that the funding of buying that a ship, is donate to Play Able. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's Good it. one. Good segue. Well, on, on that note, it must be just about time for us to wind up the show. It is a very yeah. quick show this week, but we've got people that have got to go and judge things and people that have got to go and earn some money and go to work, work and all sorts yeah. of things. So, um, <laughs> thanks to everybody here for joining yeah. us uh, for this show, but also bigger thanks for being a part of Playable uh, and yeah. supporting the Cerebral Palsy Alliance. We appreciate your guys' time and oh, uh, your you efforts it. as well. Um, normally, in this part of the show, we would get you all to shout out your um, Twitter handles and everything like that, but uh, we don't have another half an hour, so it'll all be down in the description. We're we'll we'll all say it at once, right? One. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, make sure you check out everybody's Twitch streams uh, over yep. the next two weeks, um, as well as check out the esports event. Um, I'm, I'm sure these guys will share when the esports event is live as well, even if they're not involved, because they're just awesome people that want to help promote. Yep. <laughs> um, no and they won't because we're terrified of how it's going to go. It's going to be amazing. Um, <laughs> and yeah, make sure Game you follow. Play, not so here. much. <laughs> dig deep. Dig deep. Yeah, yep. dig very deep. Like That's said, right. Like you you. Earlier, <laughs> this is for an amazing cause, and it's something that all of us sort of feel very um, uh, real about. And we want to try and with the goal is 50k, right? So the more donations we can get, Jack, make sure there's a donation in the description as well. Yep. Like a the main one will be in there. Donate. All good. Uh, and yeah, thanks for uh, joining the show this week. Uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully. Uh, with a, a more controllable situation and uh <laughs> boring all right right uh good. getting to replace you then fid uh, yeah right <laughs> well, Jack, Jack had the perfect opportunity last week to replace me and he never did it <laughs> yeah well we tried we tried right. all right thanks for joining oh. us guys thanks we'll for having thank you. you thank you for having us he froze on that <laughs> Perfect. that's Perfect. amazing all right thank you again everyone appreciate it have a good day gotcha Bye. see you guys